fit, formidable, and fantastic. So I was uh, planning to finally do a video response inspired by Richard's video about getting a bisectomy. Um, not as a debate, mind you, but uh, rather my own thoughts on his points. Um, I know Richard has already done a follow-up video, but some of my viewers insisted they'd like to hear my thoughts. However, I am suffering one absolute fuck of a cold today. Uh, it hit like a goddamn storm this morning, so this episode needs to be quick and short and considerably less research intensive. As you know, I like to do uh, pool research for all of my videos to back my points um, uh, on any myriad of subjects. So that I can get back to bed, basically. Um, I just didn't want to leave you all hanging without a video for, uh, you know, a video until next Friday's release. First, um, yes, uh, vegans can get sick given the right exposures. This seems to be a prevailing myth uh, based on anecdote that vegans don't get sick. Well, we do, and case in point, me. I also have this theory that is at least interesting to consider. In comparison with omnivores, vegans have 7% higher total testosterone. And for my fellow vegans who train with weights and consume soy isolate? Resistance trained subjects consuming soy isolate saw an increase in total testosterone levels of 150 nanograms per deciliter in one 12 week study. Perhaps some of you have heard the phrase man flu, uh, which stems from how men catch a cold but exaggerate the symptoms as flu like. Well, there may actually be some truth to that. Men naturally have higher testosterone levels than women, and then factor in that vegans have higher testosterone than omnis. And that higher testosterone can mean weakened immune response according to one study. Vegans, especially vegan men, might actually be at risk of getting ill easier and more often. Anyway, it's just an interesting musing from a sick vegan mind. Um, don't take it to the bank. I just have been pondering on it today. And I thought I would share that with you. Um, in another update, I'm about to hit 3,000 subscribers soon, and thus there will be another Q&A. So please drop some questions you'd like me to consider answering in the uh, comments of this video below, or go over to my official Facebook page and drop them there, or you can send me a Facebook message uh, through my official page. Um, just so you guys know, I don't use Google Plus, so the best way to reach me outside of YouTube is on Facebook. Um, finally, Stephen Campbell Fitness, uh, the channel I recently did a challenge for. Well, I'm a bit put off, to put it nicely. A couple days ago, he commented NULL, N-U-L-L, -L, in response to uh, my video over at his channel. I felt that this essentially wrote my video off in a single word without even attempting to logically refute anything that I had presented. Well, long story short, I uh, was discussing this with a couple of my viewers um, in the comments section on my channel of, uh, of my video challenge uh, when he jumped in and accused me of being negative. I guess calmly uh, stated criticisms are uh, a negative thing, um, at least to him. He then proceeded to tell me that he never made such a comment, which is clearly a lie. Luckily, I had refreshed my BlackBerry browser so I could actually take that photo because the comment is no longer in his comment feed anymore. It was removed, which I personally feel is an attempt at gaslighting, given the uh, rest of his comments in that string. Gaslighting is a form of mental abuse in which the information is twisted or spun, selectively omitted to favor the abuser, or false information is presented uh, with the intent of making victims doubt their own memory, perception, and sanity. Anyway, I am sharing this because I utterly dislike dishonesty and manipulation, and I feel he is guilty of both in this situation. But on a positive note, I have reached a handful of his viewers who may actually consider veganism now. In fact, one of them... Uh, said it's just a time. Uh, it's just a time to change, and he's actually going to try to watch uh, um, Earthlings. So there you go. Anyway, I'm going to sign off with that because I feel like I'm about to fucking pass out. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't provide you guys with more content today, but I will see you all next time around. Take care.